Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Tuesday morning, February 13th. Looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and the NQ as the market awaits that huge CPI number. <laughs> anyway, right now, they're attempting to put this market into balance. The bears are finally, from yesterday afternoon and now trying to follow through overnight and this morning, to take baby steps, right? The monthly, weekly, and daily all up coming into today. Again, until 9.30, we don't know if we're coming into balance or not, right? If, if the market rallies after 8.30, we can continue doing what we're doing. But for now, possibly looking to gap lower. Um, gaps, again, have not held at all this year. Uh, downside gaps are two, oh, they're two for six. Upside are only one for six. Um, Righty holding its own. Remember, Righty had a gap up yesterday, three days in a row. They've held trend up. So Righty right now still holding in. They're pretty good. They're trading right now, right above in their upper distribution. Yeah, to give a game plan right now, a little hard with the number coming out, but the bottom line is this. If we take out yesterday's low, the daily balance is just forming. So we don't know if it's going to be a three-day balance. Friday, Monday, Tuesday. We don't know if we come down a lot more and you encompass these two days. Same thing with NQ. So we'll see how big the balance gets. Remember, if the market does accelerate to the downside, you're going to have a lot of targets, right? You had a 12 wide point of control. We have single prints from the 7th, right? A couple of sets on those days. And we have the gap, don't forget. Now, on those days, they're very good things to lean on. In the following days... If the market starts heading towards them, they become targets for these heat-seeking algos. So sellers have not shown anything so far. So we'll see if they are going to be aggressive. Um, it all depends. Uh, come 8.30 and more importantly, 9.30. I don't care about 8.30. I care about 9.30. So the game plan would be, I mean, if the gap is really large to the downside, I'm not going to look to sh take a short right away. However, I will tell you this, if we do, once we open, if we if we get the overnight low, wherever it may be, fairly early, and we have value, and we have gap, and we have uh, possible indices, although right now they're only down three-tenths of a percent in ES, then I'd be looking for nothing but shorts until the market uh, turns. But again, that's why being in this trading room, as I get on the mic at 9.15 every morning, um, will lead you through what the market will be attempting to do. Um, and then chart-wise, again, the only thing that we're going to show you is the daily. I don't think the weekly would be at jeopardy just yet. You never know. But for now, just to win, the weekly is the one that would come into balance. Remember I said this yesterday. You think it will be hard to take out four lows? Absolutely not. I could see that, right? If for whatever reason the CPI sets the algos off to the sell side, we'll take out four daily lows in a heartbeat. Maybe come into this gap. And come into a five, including today, come into a five-day balance. That's very possible. On the flip side, if this market ends up not gapping lower, and they like whatever they see out of this uh, number, we're going to possibly continue one-time framing up. Good luck trading today. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.